Good afternoon everyone, this is Corey Lefevre and this is Garden Fever. Today I wanted to share with you a little tip on trellising. Um, nothing big, nothing fancy, but uh, just a way you can help trellis stuff without uh, putting much effort into it. And as you can see with these behind, what I did is I uh, plant uh, sunflowers and they grow up and I kind of trellis those up but then afterwards you can use their stems as trellises you can either leave them you can like make a whole patch and you can uh, just have them all spike out and then use that the next year like grow your sweet peas or, or whatever tie them together so that they're stronger they don't last quite as long as bamboo but they uh, they'll still serve as a, as a as a nice trellis you can break them off or you can leave them in their place depending so I've done rows of peas where the previous year I just had a big old patch of uh, sunflowers and then just left all the stems in there and kind of cut them off at the top and that was all the effort I had to do to make a trellis for them. So, or you can break them and bury them, you can do that. Like I said, they're not quite as strong as bamboo, but uh, they'll work for a year. Um, if you're lucky two years, but probably just a year. But anyway, I just wanted to share you kind of a tip on uh, how to make a pretty easy trellis without putting much energy into it. This is Corey Fever signing out. All right, everyone, this is uh, the idea number two. And uh, my idea is to, to line your garden bed like a fence with, uh, with uh, bunching onions. You don't necessarily have to use bunching onions. You can use some other herbs, but uh, they're really good bug repellents. So it, it, what it does is it creates a, a fence of anti-bad bug kind of thing so they come from the outside and they reach a layer of onions and it deters them from getting into your garden which is in the center so that's the idea number two and they also bloom for those of you who have done bunching onions before they bloom a nice big bulb that uh, honeybees love I mean it's a definite honeybee attractor so you can get good pollination too so just line your whole thing with uh, bunching onions and it can create like a shield or a barrier kind of like a mosquito it's a repellent Obviously isn't going to do all of it, like some bugs will get through, but it's kind of a deterrent and it'll, uh, it'll be just one other measure that you can take for your garden to keep a bug free, a bad bug free, you know, let the beneficial bugs in, but uh, that's idea number two. Alright everybody, this is the third idea for this video clip, uh, and that's these, uh, cinder, or these uh, cement blocks here. Um, find the ones with holes in them. You can border off a certain area or border off your bed and then you have like little sections that you can plant herbs or uh, garlic chives, even those bunching onions. Or you can do like a flower arrangement, whatever you prefer to do. Uh, maybe even in the spring you can do different types of lettuces and you can do an arrangement. But uh, keep in mind that they are kind of small. So they don't have a whole lot of root space, but uh, it's a way to kind of get a lot more for your for your garden bed than just the actual bed itself so and if you use uh, other types of herbs they can uh, repel bugs too like we were talking about in the second idea like right here I got some uh, white uh, mountain yarrow we've got some lemon balm and I've got some boarham over there and, and whatnot and eventually I'll fill it all up and maybe I'll give you an update later for another video but uh, and I also encourage you to uh, get the largest one so there's more root space um, and it also kind of creates a natural barrier too for the weeds. But uh, anyway, that's your third idea or a third, a third idea on different things that you might want to do in your own garden. But uh, so for this video, I just wanted to share those ideas there. You know, maybe you'll find some use for them and maybe you won't. Uh, but uh, I think these can look really nice when you... Oh, and also uh, for the people that have uh, box gardens, if you, you know, make them out of these cinder blocks, um, they can be really nice, then you can uh, use these holes for different herbs and various things like I was saying. It can be very nice looking. Anyway, this is Corey Lefebvre with Garden Fever. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and there'll be more videos to come.